All right, this is to set up or to set the application so you can export and use your tool utility. We'll go into Robot Master, and here's my application. This is what you're looking for. So if I was to go over here, customize ribbon, pulls this up, and then here's all my applications so I'm just going to delete this one delete all right so now let's say okay if I go over here robot master you don't see the application tool so I'm going to go back here customize ribbon and then I'm going to go to application and then I want to place it in my robot master custom folder so here's what I have in there right now and I got that highlighted. It's going into here. Add. Boom. Okay. Now when I go into Robot Master, it shows up in my application window for my Robot Master. I'm going to bring that up. That is what allows me to actually go to the frame generator if I was creating a whole work cell. In this case, it's just setting up a tool utility. And you select your three points like I showed you in a previous video. Here's my Z. Here's my X. And here is my origin, I guess you'd call it. Boom. And it exports it. Then, I'll open up a program here. Let's open up Valley Fine. Let me save that. I'm going to open up Robot Master, but in order to Robot Master, you have to have a, a session on Master Cam, and then it'll make more sense to you if I have a functioning program. Alright, so here's a program where I'm uh, using my the robot to actually make sure that the part's in the right spot. So I'm going down the leading edge and trailing edge of a blade. All right, so I'm going to open up Robot Master. And this is just an alignment routine we're going to run at the robot so we know that the part and fixture is correct. It does a quick little pick in place. Here's my cell, and there's my program there. So, where I created that program in Mastercam, where I export that utility, if I go into Global Settings, here's my, and I go under Robot, here's my selection. So, I could have a JP gun. And you see it switched it. And then I can go back, global settings, and I'm gonna switch that back to my F4 plasma gun. Now if your gun's not set up correctly, then you have to set up your gun with your work coordinates, uh, XYZ and tip center and all that stuff before you go ahead and export it because otherwise it's just gonna throw it down on the table, not in the quite cor correct work coordinates, because you want it to follow the actual toolpath. In this one, I happen to have a 15 inch plume, so that's why it, the standoff is so long. But anyway. That's all I wanted to show you on that.